In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, O Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it that others may be praised and I go unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Wow, where to start with the litany of humility? I haven't prayed this in several years, and I was praying my rosary with a YouTube video the other night, and because I was helping my daughter to go to sleep, um, the next video that just came up was the litany of humility. And as I was praying it, I just knew that that was the prayer that I needed to add to my prayer life right now so much resonated with me and I used to feel guilty when I would pray this litany of humility um, years ago because I was still working on a lot of the parts of the prayer you know within myself and now I've come to a place of understanding that I was actually taught the opposite of a lot of this prayer. I was raised actually by Catholics to strive for worldly praise, actually. Recently, I've come to a, a place of more self-love and gentleness with myself instead of beating myself up for not being where I should be in regards to that prayer because I've had to unlearn some things that were taught to me from a young age and I've had to reteach myself and rest in Jesus's teachings. And that's actually really hard to do. So I just wanted to share that with you in case there's anyone out there who also struggles with any part of the litany of humility because you were probably taught opposing beliefs, especially in childhood. It's hard to unlearn those things if you're taught to seek approval, for example. Also, what really struck me in this prayer, since I hadn't prayed it in so long, is the part towards the end that others may become holier than I. I have been struggling with this recently because in the past I used to work for Dominican sisters and if you've ever been around Dominican sisters, they just radiate holiness. They're so beautiful. They wake up early and go to daily mass every day and pray the rosary all before heading to their duties, whatever work that they have to do that day. And they're just, so beautiful and so holy. And I would think to myself, okay, I just have to go to mass and pray the rosary and I'll be as holy and beautiful as those Dominican sisters. And this prayer just reminds me that maybe I never will become as holy as those sisters and that's okay. Maybe I'll always just be an average 
everyday Catholic, and God works in mysterious ways. Hopefully I can attract other people who are just average, not as holy as they would like to be, and we can all help each other get to heaven and be saints. Thank you for praying with me. I hope you're having a beautiful Lent. God bless you. Bye.